Our top story this morning, new details in the latest mass shooting. Thursday night's attack in a movie theater in Lafayette, Louisiana. Two young women were killed and nine other people wounded before the gunman took his own life as police closed in. We are learning more this morning about just what happened inside that theater. David Begno is in Lafayette with that. Good morning, David. Vanita, good morning. The people of Lafayette who love to say they live in the heart of Cajun country will wake up this morning to a movie theater that is still a crime scene. Less than 48 hours after a man went on a shooting rampage inside, the people who live in this city of roughly 124,000 people have labeled themselves Lafayette Strong. Students and community members gathered for a prayer vigil at the University of Louisiana's Lafayette campus last night, not far from where Thursday's shooting took place. It was during a showing of the comedy train wreck that police say 59 year old John Hauser stood up and fired twice, hitting two people directly in front of him. He then fired randomly at least 10 more times. You could see the gun reflecting from the movie, and you could see the flash coming from the chamber. It was it's awful. Lucas Nepper was sitting in the back of the theater, just six empty seats away from the shooter. He just stood up and was just shooting, blank stare. And he wasn't aiming at anyone in particular, he was just shooting the entire crowd. Emily Mann is childhood friends with Lucas. She was seated right next to him. Do you think about how it could have just as easily been you? Oh, absolutely. It's a mixture because you're so grateful that it wasn't you. But it's confusing because, um, sorry, there's a guilt there because it could have been used so easy. Hauser armed himself with a handgun, shooting 11 people in all. Police say he then reloaded his 40 caliber pistol and fired one last shot to kill himself. Two of his victims died that night, including 33 year old Jillian Johnson. She founded several clothing stores and was known as a fountain of creativity. Don't call me darling. She was also the lead singer in a band. Mary Perrin was one of her close friends. She had so much potential. She had miles to go before she slept and she slept way too soon. We didn't get to see her full potential. Also killed was 21 year old Macy Bro a student at LSU Eunice, a former high school cheerleader who loved to dance. Cindy Meir and Lance LeBlanc are her aunt and uncle. There's nothing we can do to bring her back. The theater was huge, but it's my niece that got the way of that bullet. What led him in life to come to this, to take, to take my niece? I forgive him for what he did. But he will be judged. A law enforcement source tells CBS News of the more than 12 shots fired by the gunman, seven hit one man. And Anthony, that man's family, says they expect him to make a full recovery.